Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Pesukim of Bitochen. Today is Tehillim, Lamed, Dalid, Chav, Gimel, 34, Pasuk number 23. Pai Hashem nefesh avodav HaKadosh Baruch redeems the nefesh, the soul, of his avodav, of his servants. V'lo yeshmu kol ha'chaisim bai, and all of those who are chaisim, all those that trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, seek refuge in Hashem, they will not be cut, they will not be destroyed, they will not be condemned. And Rav Hirsch explains the following in, in this in this verse. Paida Hashem nefesh avada v'la yeshamu kol ha'chaisim bai. We see many people that seem to be trustworthy in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they live lives of amun and bitachin. They live lives that we would even call them tzaddikim, righteous individuals. And yet we see them suffering. We see them with hardships, challenges going on in their life. And the verse of here is saying that Hashem continues to redeem the nefesh, the soul of the servants, and they will never be destroyed. They will never be condemned. How come you see rabbanim that are suffering either in poverty or in sickness? or difficulties in their life? How can we see great people of Klal Yisov in all generations? Certainly it doesn't look like they're being redeemed. It looks like there is destruction that is coming their way. It looks like there are hardships that are piling up around them. So how can David HaMelech say over here that Paida Hashem Nefesh HaVadov HaKadosh Baruch redeems the soul of his servants? And anyone who takes refuge and, and has trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they will not be destroyed. And that is the answer, says Rav Hirsch, that Poyed Hashem Nefesh Avadov, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, He redeems the soul of His servants, which means even if a person is going through challenges, even if a person has hardships, they have nisyonis, they have tests that are piling up all around them, they're suffering in poverty, they're suffering in health, they're suffering in children, they're suffering in their marriages, they're suffering in life in general. They have so many things that have piled up around them and made things difficult. And a, an average person would crumble under the pressure. An average person would get crushed by all the different things that are going on around them. That's the way that it would be. However, if a person is avadav, you're an evad of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you're a servant of Hashem, then Hashem is paide, the nefesh, He redeems your soul. And although that in the physical world, in the Olam Hazadik, a world that we live in, a person finds themselves confounded by all different struggles and challenges around them, but the nefesh, the soul of that person, is pod, is redeemed. It is living in a plane of existence above all of that. And therefore, I could have the world falling apart around me, and yet I could be living in a place called Gan Eden. As we heard many stories over the years of those Yidin, I just saw recently in a new book that was printed about a Holocaust survivor, that one of the people that he befriended in the, in the war was a man who was able to transport his thoughts into another world of existence, even when there was death and there was Gehenna all around him in the concentration camps. He would take himself and he would, he would transfer his thoughts and his mind into what life was like before the war. What it was like to sit at the Shabbos table with his wife and with his children. What it was like to walk down the streets of his peaceful neighborhood. What it was like to come home on a Tuesday afternoon after a long day at work and see his little children playing around on the floor and his wife doting him, coming with a smile on her face. And he would transfix himself and transform himself into that reality. And he would transcend the world of Gehenna, of Auschwitz, of the concentration camps that he was physically living in. Says, the, says Rav Hirsch on these words of David HaMelech, that is the same thing that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does for the Avada, for his servants. If a person is from the Choy Simbai, they are people that trust in Hashem, then it doesn't really matter where they're standing. It doesn't matter the difficulties that they're encountering. It doesn't matter the hardships that they're working through as we speak right now. But they don't get dragged down by it. And they don't get destroyed as a result of it. 
On the other hand, they continue to go up, 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 higher and higher in the way in which they deal with the world around them. And their nefesh is part of their soul is redeemed. It's above, it's closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's living a life of serenity and tranquility. by anybody who will trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and they will seek refuge in Hashem, they will never be destroyed. They will be walking through the challenging times of life as if they're basking in the glow of the Shekhinah in Gan Eden. This is the great Maila, the great advantage of someone who lives a life of Bitochen. When you trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you can also trust that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give you the wherewithal to live above the grade of the challenging world that we are a part of. And it will allow our nefesh, our souls to be redeemed. Our trust will fortify our relation with Hashem. And therefore, no, not only will we never be re- condemned nor destroyed, but we will be a nation of people, the servants of Hashem, whose nefesh, whose soul, will always be redeemed before the Rebbein Have a wonderful day.